Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to remove mould from silicone on a shower with no scrubbing. You can see how bad they can get when you live in a hard water area like this one here, but in 24 hours we'll have this silicone nice and white again. What you're going to need today is some bleach, no not the first album by Nirvana, some actual bleach. Then if you've got some it's best to wear some rubber gloves because we're going to be handling bleach so it's not great for your skin. Also as you're using bleach make sure you've got a window open and the room is nice and ventilated. And finally what you're going to need is some kitchen towel, if you haven't got any kitchen towel you can just use toilet paper. Let's hear it for the toilet paper. Take your kitchen towel or toilet paper and screw it up into a nice long bead like this. I'm just going to be treating this corner unit here. Then what you do is push that over the silicone and then pour the bleach over it. I've taken my rubber gloves off. Then use your finger or fingers to push the wet tissue over the silicone and what you want is for none of the mould on the silicone to be showing so you want it completely covered up and what that's doing is that's starving the mould bacteria of oxygen and killing it off and this is what it looks like after a few minutes so you want that tissue nice and saturated covered in bleach and then you wait 24 hours. Little hand says it's time to rock and roll. Okay this is 24 hours later let's peel this off and look at that, absolutely fantastic. Brilliant, still got a little bit of mould in that corner but we can just put a bit more in there and leave it another time. Look at that, absolutely amazing. No scrubbing, nothing. You would think that I'd re-silicon that and this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. I'm just going to go crazy and do the rest of this customer's shower tray. Whilst I'm doing that there's a link above now about how to stop your curtains sticking on the curtain rails. That is a really top tip. And here we go 24 hours later looking good. Time for a cup of tea I think. Oh. I hope you found that useful. Up here is a link on how to stop your curtains from sticking on the curtain rails. Really good tip. And on this side is how to clean your UPVC guttering so it stays clean. Thank you for visiting my channel everyone. I really, really appreciate it.